While filming the romantic comedy, The Lady Takes a Flyer in the spring of 1957, American film actress Lana Turner began receiving phone calls and flowers on the set from a mobster and ex-marine Johnny Stampanato using the name John Steele. Turner claimed she was unsure of how he obtained her phone number, but that she learned in later press that allegedly he collected the phone numbers of various Hollywood actresses, including June Allison, Anita Ekberg, and Zsa Zsa Gabor. Stompanato pursued Turner aggressively, sending her various lavish gifts. Thoroughly intrigued by his forthrightness, Turner began casually dating Stompanato. Unbeknownst to her at the time, Stompanato had close ties to the Los Angeles underworld and was an affiliate of gangster Mickey Cohen. Over the following months, Turner and Stompanato carried on a tempestuous relationship filled with violent arguments, physical abuse inflicted upon her by him, and repeated reconciliations. Turner claimed that on one occasion, Stompanato drugged her and took nude photographs of her while unconscious, potentially to use as blackmail. In September of 1957, while Turner was filming Another Time, Another Place in London, Stompanato disrupted the set and violently choked Turner before being forced off the set by her co-star, Sean Connery. Turner phoned Scotland Yard after the incident and ultimately had Stompanato deported from the United Kingdom. They subsequently reconciled and spent January and February 1958 vacationing in Alcapulco, Mexico before returning to the United States. In March of 1958, Turner attended the Academy Awards to observe her nomination for Peyton Place and present the award for Best Supporting Actor. Stompanato, angry that she had attended the ceremony without him, assaulted Turner when she arrived home. At approximately 8 p.m. on April 4th, eight days after the Academy Awards ceremony, Stompanato arrived at Turner's rented home at 730 North Bedford Drive in Beverly Hills, California, which she had begun leasing a week prior. The two began arguing heatedly in the bedroom, during which Stompanato threatened to kill Turner, her daughter, and her mother, as well as making gangster threats that involved breaking Turner's bones and slashing her face with a straight razor. Her daughter, Cheryl Crane, had briefly entered the room during the argument, but was urged by Turner to leave. In the midst of the ensuing argument, Turner broke off her relationship with Stompanato and asked him to leave the house, fearing that Turner's life was in danger. Crane, who had been watching television in the adjacent room, grabbed a kitchen knife and ran to her mother's defense. Crane recalled the incident in 2012. There's a knife on the counter. I picked it up, ran back up the stairs. Her door suddenly flies open. I see John coming toward me. He's got his hand up. I raise the knife and he walks right into it. And he looked at me and he said, my God, Cheryl, what have you done? Turner corroborated this stating that Crane, who had been listening to the couple's fight behind the closed door, stabbed Stompanato in the stomach when Turner attempted to usher him out of the bedroom. Turner initially believed Crane had punched him, but realized he had been stabbed when he collapsed and she saw blood on his shirt. Per official police accounts, Crane left the room placing the knife on a small marble top table and rushed to phone her father, Joseph Stephen Steve Crane, in the melee. Turner, meanwhile, called for a doctor who arrived at the house shortly after. 
the doctor attempted to revive Stompanato with an adrenaline injection in an artificial respirator. Unable to obtain a pulse, the doctor called for emergency services, thereby notifying the police, and Stompanato was subsequently pronounced dead at the scene. An autopsy conducted by Charles Langhauser shortly after revealed Stompanato's death was caused by a single knife wound that penetrated his liver, portal vein, and iota, resulting in massive internal hemorrhaging. I hope you enjoyed this two-part series. Thanks for watching the channel, and I'll see you in the next exciting video.